We're going to dive to, say, 50. And I'm going to go at max speed here for a little bit. Um, hopefully this guy won't pick me up. And while all that is happening, we're going to go ahead and time one of these ships as well. We're going to try to get the 315 down to get the most accurate representation of their speed. And we're going to let that go. Now, the thing that'll really screw me is if a, a warship pops up right here. That would be extremely unfortunate at this time. See, I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to lose these targets, right? Because your hydrophone range will decrease um, the more noise you're making. Yeah, if if a if a con if a escort pops up here, I'm in I'm in a significant amount of danger. So we're six kilometers away from. We're actually more like like 5.3k from a good shot. We may we may be we may have a lot to shoot at here. I'm kind of looking I'm liking the way this looks. Uh semi, if you could actually do navigation. See, unfortunately when you get close to other ships or shore or aircraft or whatever, your navigation officer automatically stops navigating because they don't care about the the navigation table because you'll be at maximum, all right? But you don't get the buff to your fuel or batteries if no one's on navigation. Something to keep in mind, everybody. Something to keep in mind. 3 minutes 15. This is the most accurate we're going to get right here. Okay, this ship is doing 5.6 knots. That's very slow. Very slow. I can't remember the last time I saw a ship going that slowly, to tell you the truth. 5.6 knots. Jesus. Huh. Okay. 61 degrees. So our initial calculation uh, that we got from the radio men was pretty good. The big test is whether or not we're going to get picked up. Now this guy is approximately what? He's five, roughly 5k out, give or take. I could hit him. And I see no other warships. That's the thing. So I might just kill this guy. I don't know. Like, I can't remember, that's a 10 to 22. There's got to be other escorts, but where are they? That's the important thing. Where are they located? Unknown. Oh, speaking of which, we should probably be at blue lighting, everybody. Let's go ahead and uh, re-engage. And blue lighting. Christ knows. Okay, we're going to slow to speed 2. That'll extend our range a little bit. I want to keep moving. Okay, so we've got, I'm guessing this is going to be a Corvette here. So it's looking less likely that attacking the... I mean... Okay, the issue is, I could take this guy out, sure. But I'm not going to get anything done, because this guy's going to be barreling in towards us. So I'm not going to be able to surface or anything, to use the deck gun or anything. Plus, I don't know what I'm dealing with here. It could be C3s, it could be Liberties, all kinds of <laughs> So, I don't even know. Alright, that there, right there, that's a cruiser. That is a cruiser. Gare and damn teed. There's no way a destroyer would be inside the pack. So that's a, that is a cruiser. Interesting. Interesting. So when this ship is past me, it's go-go time. It is time to rock and or roll. We're going to be firing at this target and this target. Um, another T1 being ready wouldn't be a terrible idea. This target and this target. Um... We've got five kilometers under keel, so we're not we're not going to be able to hide very well, unfortunately. Hiding is going to be kind of out. I'm very tempted to engage engines to cut this uh, distance down a bit and to maybe be able to bring this guy to the uh, rear tube, but it's too much of a gamble now. Like, we, we actually managed to, to not be detected in the beginning, so this is probably best. We're going to get this guy in depth keeping, and we're going to slide up to periscope depth here, I think. It is 1643. It's very bright out. So this may not be the smartest of ideas. We are going to engage electric dive planes. We are going to engage electric dive planes. And the reason for that is I absolutely do not want to broach. And this guy shouldn't hear me. Shouldn't. We're going to find out here in a second. All right, Skip, let's go ahead and... Uh, no, no, you got to actually climb. You ready? Ready to climb? Skipper, there you go. Come on, buddy. You're just being silly now. Huh? Who's being a big silly? 
Okay. All right. So there is, we've got an Empire Explorer is the farthest target. Closer of the, ooh, the closer target is a C3. And that's very, very nice. That's all my tonnage and then some right there. Right there. All my tonnage. I love it. Oh, uh, there it is. C3. Let's go back to this guy. All right. She is a Norwegian Empire Explorer, as a matter of fact. Uh, it is an Explorer, right? Uh, no. This guy's my target. Ooh, that almost messed that up. This is a... Now, that's strange. She's flying one flag at half, at half mast. She's either Canadian or British, uh, and she is an explorer type. You can tell that by the communications tower. Okay, so we're assuming we know the velocity. We, we figured that we took it correctly the first time around. Now, what I'd like to do here is I want to split the difference. These ships are 1,600 meters apart, but only about a kilometer this way. So I'm going to split the difference, and I'm going to make this say... This won't be exact, everybody. I'm just, I'm just playing with something. So please don't expect a miracle. Let's do 28, or yeah, 1282. That's what we're gonna go with. So when our first uh, volley passes that circle, we can fire at the second target. But the first thing I wanna do, of course, is, uh, no, I've already got that locked in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and get a distance. We're gonna fire one torpedo at this guy, and we're gonna do, do two torpedoes at the C3. We're looking at approximately there for a distance. We're going to get a T1 torpedo. We're going to set this much higher to 4,500 meters. We're going to have it turn to its right at, I don't know, 45 degrees just for funsies. We are flooded. We're going to be using an impact trigger here. So we're going to go with a depth of two and a half. No, depth of two is what we're going to go with. And we are firing. Torpedo away. Probably pretty damn soon. Let's go ahead and get a distance check from my friend here. And my friend is... Uh, rear mass is a little bit taller. Right there. Two torpedoes. T... No, let's go T3s. Both T3s. We're going to go both mag... Depth on a C3 is probably really ass deep. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, seven three. We're gonna go seven. We're gonna go eight. We're gonna try eight. Try eight meter shots. There's, the, the, it's like glass out. Set this higher. Forty five hundred. And firing. There we go. Oh Jesus! I waited way too long. Oh my God! It took me that long to track down what what the draft was. These torpedoes are going to miss. Damn it! I'm so mad at myself right now. You have no idea. Torpedo? Hello? Torpedo? Hello? Hello? Oh, it's going to hit... Ooh, quite to the rear. That's actually good. If they're going faster than I thought they were going, I might hit the C3 to the rear. Maybe. Um... Probably not the whole convoy. Oh, Jesus, look at that. We missed by a mile. How? 28. Oh, my God. Look at this. So, the, um... Come on, think of words. The statimeter reading I took... Set this to 2806. 2806 is here. Like, roughly like here. You know what I mean? This ship was miles away from where this thing was set to go. Look at this. This was off by 500 meters. What the hell? 500 meters off. Like, really? Come on. Come on. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, yeah, they're gonna miss. Oop. I really wish that it wouldn't disappear. Nah, that's a complete miss. Now I've just got to try to shoot this down with one. It's a T1, unfortunately. We're gonna go magnetic for it. Uh, we're gonna set depth more to like seven and a half. Um, and we're gonna take distance with this, because 
To hell with that thing. Jesus. 500 meters off? 500 meters off. Really? Really? 2477. See, look at this. This is, oh my god, 2477. So far, no, that's not it. Hang on. Uh, five grand. Where's, there we go, 2477. This one was off by 700 meters. 700 meters. How ridiculous is that? Right? Firing. Torpedo away. Begin warming. Tube 2. Tube 2 warming. Yeah I, get, I get, yeah, I guess it's a miss, my guy. Jesus Christ, look at that. Like, wow. That distance was off, right? 500 meters for one, 700 for the other. Mental. Absolutely mental. This is looking a little better. The speed's wrong. I've never, I've never seen 3 minutes and 15 seconds be wrong for speed. I've never seen that. I've never seen 315 seconds be or 3 minutes 15 seconds be wrong. That's insane. That's crazy. How could that be wrong? You know what I mean? How could it possibly be wrong? They must have increased speed uh, at some point during the run. <sighs> Four wasted torpedoes. Four. Four. Now they're going seven knots. See? See? That's not fair. Wowzers. All right, I need a distance. I can't trust anything anymore. Can't trust anything. It's terrible. Let's do like here. Um, 25.53. 25.53, which makes perfect sense. She's going out past us. And firing. Torpedo away. Good thing I got a lot of torpedoes. <laughs> you evil game. How dare you lie to me. How dare you. Monsters. You're monsters. All of you. Come on. Come on. There it is. Not a bad amount of damage, but halfway down. Halfway down. Speaking of down, let's dive to 50. Start moving the boat forward at speed 2. We're going to pop the T5 at the rear, see what happens. Might take down... Like, if it hits the NA1, obviously it's going to work. Obviously it'll work, because those things are made of tissue paper. But whatever. Let's go ahead and start locking in some stuff. Let's see. Six here. 60-ish here. Distance is like, what? Uh, 700 meters, give or take. 700. Um, is there some reason why I can't fire? Oh, she's to my baffles. I can't see her now. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's gonna have to wait. It's gonna have to wait. That sucks. You know what I could do, though? Is I could fire it at this guy and see if it'll pick up the enemy one. Oh, wait. Here we go. Got it. Uh, distance. 700, right? Yeah. Pop this T5. Magnetic. We're gonna go fairly shallow. 3-5. Once we pop it, we're gonna hit the, the uh, brakes, too. C3's abandoned. Cool. Lovely. Firing T5. Engines down, sub down. The George Abernathy. George Abernathy. Okay. American NA1 about to have a really rough go. It's a miss. It's an NA... It's, it's a T5. Oh, what? T5 was a dud. Come on. What? Come on. All right, turn the dive planes to manual. We're going to close bulkheads. Because we are in danger. <laughs> Dud, seriously? Come on. Man, I am not having good luck today, people. I don't know if you noticed. Not having the best luck all of a sudden. All right, Grant Wood, let's see if we can put you down. And that should skip in at this distance. Yeah, you can just see the fire. And that should be that. She should be done. We're going to make sure, though, as we go by, obviously. Uh, give me steering, please. Let's go... Let's lock to zero. 
I don't know. I sort of want to put one more into her just for funsies. Yeah, let's... There we go. We'll break through the upper deck so we'll help water get in. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine, right? You're going to go down, right? You're not going to do something stupid. Don't you do st something stupid. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Bye, Mr. Wood. You didn't even know what was coming. You had no idea, my guy. Thank <laughs> you.